Hey, hold up. Oh, you're so handsome. Shut up, you. So subtle. You shut up. Ryan and Sarah got you these. They're really sorry they couldn't change Sarah's check up today. But it's a bouquet of onesies. <laughs> well, right. Pretty impractical. <laughs> I'll take them. Listen, I'm really honoured that you've asked me to be godparent, if you still want me with all this drama. Uh, you're Noah's mum, which sort of makes you Esther's grand, and if you're really serious about being in life. I am. Truly, I am. Like I said, I'm honoured. Right. Well, I'll see you at the church then. <laughs> mum. Yeah? Esther's faith really matters to Amelia. Today is about them, my family. So. I need you to not be, you know. Me? Please don't stir anything. Not today. I swear to you, I will be on my best behaviour, OK? Oh, Sam. Your first wee grandchild's christening and you miss it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drink it in for the both of us. Bye, love. That was your dad? He got into Aberdeen a few hours ago. How's Grandad's leg? Just a sprain, thankfully. Although I don't think Zach will trust a bar stool again. He reckons it collapsed without warning. <laughs> I bet he were belting out sea shanties again. Yeah, and rocking the stool from side to side like a boat on the waves. <laughs> How he hasn't broken more before now, I do not know. Your dad's gutted, though, to be missing little Esther's christening. Well, it's more important to be looking after Grandad. Yeah, of course. But, um, well, Esther will only get christened once. I've pressed your shirt. I, I got it for you in the Christmas jumble sale. You'll be the sharpest dressed in the church in this. I thought with your dad being away, you could keep me company. No chance. Look, stop trying to guilt me into it. You can't be here now. Oh, gosh, a merry morning to you too. If you mean the christening, it's not for a while. But I bring bad news. Oh, great, just what I was after. Marlon's not coming in. Oh, yeah, just started back, and he wants to take a personal day. It'll be for Paddy. Well, don't worry about that. I'm going to drag him straight back. He can't just take a day off, cos his best mate's a bit heartbroken. No, don't. We can close the kitchen, all right? Paddy needs him. He wants a divorce. And full custody of Eve. Right, well, then you fight. I have turned our lives into a complete car crash. Mine and Al's. Paddy's and lives and gains. Babe, blame yourself all you want for you and Paddy because, yeah, all right, you cheated. But I'm sorry, Liv's death was an accident and your brother killing some guy because you happened to be sleeping with him. I'm sorry, no, that is on Kane. <sighs> I better ring Victoria. Victoria, best chef in the world. Um, how do you fancy some extra Christmas cash? Hoping the answer is yes because of everything that's going on with David. Can you ring me, please? I thought I warned you to steer clear. Don't kick off. I invited them. There's a lot we need to discuss. You are scum. You just stood there and you let me think it was Priya and Moira that were Al's bit on the side. I thought you were Kerry's friend. I mean, Mam still does. I am. No. No. You held her while she was grieving for him, knowing full well what you'd done. How could you do that? Why? She was the only other person who loved him. Oh. Who felt his loss. I needed her. You selfish cow. And when you were done using her, you got rid. Sent her away before she could find out what you really are. A sick and twisted liar. You made your point. Not even close. Is that why you encouraged Kerry to leave? Just to... just to get her out of your hair? I needed her here, Chaz. Same. And now she's off working on some crews to pay off the debts that are also your responsibility. <clears throat> what's this? It's two grand. It's a drop in the ocean of what's owed, but I'll keep paying until Carrie's clear. No! This is Al's debt, not yours! No, he bought her a house by putting Kerry in debt. And it's not her fault that Kerry's stupid enough to get scammed! Uh, she wasn't stupid. She was played. OK, fine, gullible idiot, then. Enough! OK? I am paying back every penny. 
I need to do this, so don't fight me. Please. Fine. For you. And for a truce, OK? Cos we can't be glaring daggers at each other over the font, can we, when we're supposed to be leading a kid to Christ? Sam wishes he could be here. We understand. And I'm really glad that Zach's gonna be OK. Right, well, I think that's everyone now, Vicar. Finally. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome everyone to St Mary's Church. We have a very special welcome to Esther, Alice and Spencer here today to begin an exciting journey of faith. In choosing to have their child christened, parents are saying that their child is precious to them and precious to God. By simply being here at the service, you are supporting the decision to have their child baptised. Psst. Nothing, and I mean nothing, would stop me from being here today for that precious little bundle. <laughs> Esther, Alice and Spencer, I baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, my mum's good at the miss this. Shame she didn't make more of an effort to get here than eh? We all got our priorities though. As their parents and godparents, you have a prime responsibility of guiding and helping them in their early years. Let us now pray for grace in guiding this child in the way of faith. <laughs> really? I'm sorry, you take this seriously, Amelia? Excuse me, we all do. Uh, you don't. Ains, what are you doing? You? Pretending to guide her when you've got zero moral compass? When you defend your cousin for being a lying cheat? It's a joke. Uh, not to me. Me mam should be godmother, not charity who can barely be bothered to look after her own kids, never mind look out for Esther. Huh, hypocrite much. Mum, no. She dumped her own baby in a phone box and she dares lecture me. Cos you shouldn't be standing there preening to be a godmother when me mum, who was like a mother to you, Amelia, is missing the whole thing because of your vulture of a cousin. I suggest you get out before this gets worse. Oh what? Oh what? Mum, don't! <laughs> <laughs> 